Madam Chair, I ask unanimous consent to enter a letter from the National Job Corps Association into the permanent hearing record. Without objection. Mr. Barton, thank you for uh, being here and all that you do for the uh, Job Corps program. Uh, as the Republican chair of the Job Corps caucus, uh, I have long been supportive of the program. Uh, the Keystone Job Corps Center operates in my district, and during my time as mayor of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, I witnessed uh, the great things that Job Corps can do for these young adults that, that traditional educational systems could not. Uh, I've also seen the local partnerships that the Keystone Center has developed and the tremendous benefit that those relationships have had on my local area. When I was mayor, uh, the Keystone students worked to restore uh, the old sidewalks around City Hall. Uh, they also took part in a downtown beautification uh, project and they designed these beautiful trash receptacles that, that are still there today. Uh, the students there helped volunteer fire departments perform smoke alarm tests and, and go door to door offering their assistance installing working detectors. They participated in the United Way's annual Thanksgiving dinner and even volunteered for, with ha uh, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, the culinary students put their skills to use by preparing meals for our, many of our local events. And I've also had tremendous Job Corps students intern in my uh, Hazleton uh, Congressional District Office. Uh, and just as Keystone gives back to their community, the community invests in them. Uh, Keystone has a strong working relationship with the Butler Township Police Department, a partnership that spans over 50 years. The cooperation between the center and the police department is based on open and constant communication. Most recently, an officer came to speak to the students in the security program about the rewards and challenges of being in law enforcement. Local church leaders visit once a week, giving students a chance to talk to someone from outside the center if something is bothering them. Retired folks in the community even drop by to tutor uh, those students. Many students simply do not have access to these types of positive relationships before they came to Keystone. Now I'm citing these, these examples as, as you can see, that the students are very involved in our community. The management at, at Keystone has told me their community partnerships help to reduce safety incidents, and I can see why. Teaching students to live in a community and to be part of one fosters a sense of self-value that lends itself to a sense of accountability to others. I am proud to represent Keystone, and I believe that every Job Corps Center has the responsibility to be a good neighbor. I also recognize that Job Corps centers are the first time students have been away from the place where they grew up. Helping them realize a new sense of community is fundamental in making them feel at home, and so is their safety. So my question, Mr. Barton, is we can all agree that one death or incidence of violence is one too many. Can you tell me about the efforts your center undertakes to engage students in the local community, and if you believe these activities increase safety, and are there ways that the Department of Labor can encourage Job Corps centers across the country to become more involved with their local communities to encourage a culture of accountability, safety, and security? First of all, thank you for being chair of the Job Corps Caucus. We appreciate that. And I need to tell you that um, at Earl C. Clemens, we, um, and just hearing those stories at Keystone, it's quite similar at Earl C. Our culinary students uh, make or prepare meals for Veterans Day or always assisting in the community. But I can tell you that an initiative uh, led by our National Office of Job Corps, it's called Youth to Youth. And uh, that was uh, rolled out, that initiative was uh, put forward uh, six months ago or so, and it is an anti-bullying uh, platform. And it encouraged students to get out in the community, work with local school systems, work with uh, a local residents to send the message that there are other ways to solve problems besides bullying and, and hazing and fighting. And that initiative has been extremely beneficial to Job Corps. Students across the country have um, uh, ex expressed other coping skills to deal with problems other than violence or arguments and teaching students how to get to uh, an end without conflict. So that Y2Y Y is what it's referred to has been extremely popular and successful in Job Corps, and we're gonna continue those types of initiatives moving forward. 
Thank you for uh, the work you're doing. Thank you, Madam Chair.